Hey, what up, y'all? Y'all know it's Grandmaster Gemini. I come to, you know, bring facts to the table and create discussion. So, today's video is about what I like to call spiritual scrubs. And I'm coming straight off the top with this. But in the spiritual community, I've noticed it's a lot of individuals who are not that serious about their spiritual path. They have stepped in. Um... And there's a lot of folks that are really third party with the spiritual stuff. I wanted to talk more about it. I wanted to get more down to subjects. I have people in my inbox that are speaking on subjects. They sit in my inbox waiting for me to give them any amount of my energy that they can get. And they do that to a lot of spiritualists. There's a lot of spiritual scrubs that are on a lot of different free psychic videos, free psychic websites, free psychic Facebook groups free psychic Instagram situations. And these are people who would never go about taking their spiritual journey serious enough to invest in more than just their time. Um, if, you know, more, a lot of spiritual folks really take the time to buy things, to acquire, um, acquire lots of spiritual needs. Not just, we're not talking just sage or anything um, ultra wise, but just go out of their way to open themselves to professional like um spiritual services um which is needed in your spiritual community um and in your spiritual path a lot of folks out here are trying to free <laughs> their way into um spiritual foundation and there's a lot of professional spiritualists who are here to really help folks on their path i'm not saying that there aren't some spiritual individuals that are really actually helping folks or that are really actually doing it for them for free. But when you give folks free things and they find out that they can get it from other places, the value and the integrity and the appreciation for what is done for them is not the same unless they give you their money. And a lot of spiritual scrubs come in forms of male and females. This is not a thing about gender these are folks who will hang out with spiritual folks or hit up spiritual folks or talk to spiritual folks maybe even try to be their friends a little bit and if you're a real spiritual individual you could tell who's very who's actually adamant and progressive about their spiritual path and folks who are just who really like the spiritual life who maybe have a couple of spiritual things in their life not everybody is spiritual i mean we all spirit but there are individuals who are low-key energy drainers now, I wouldn't say complete energy vampires. I feel like that's, I guess, a little offensive. But these are individuals who go about the process of being around individuals or harvesting individuals' energies, having friends that are psychic, having friends that are spiritual, having friends that are witches, having friends that are empaths, whatever. Just having those friends and not taking the life through that they say that they're going to take through. They're in certain people's inboxes. They're asking for free readings all the time or and they won't even meditate for 20 minutes. They won't pray to their ancestors. They won't ask their favorite deity to work with them. They won't do a, They won't do too many spells because they're really just putting their toes in the water. They're not actually putting the whole foot in there, at least. They're just putting their toe in there. They're just stepping on shallow water. They're not going to dive in too much. Maybe it's fear or other things. Usually it's fear, but whatever the case is, and say no spiritual scrubs. Don't be a spiritual scrub. You want to get involved? Please get involved. You have spirit guides and ancestors. Even if your ancestors aren't all that, you definitely have spirit guides. We all come down here with them. The universe makes sure that there is some spirit that's here to help guide you and guide you correctly. So many folks out here, they don't want to get a spiritual service done professionally. Maybe it's about money. Maybe it's about something. But give something. Try. Um, there are a lot of spiritual individuals who are just half-assing it. And they are just jumping in groups. They are jumping in, in, in situations and stuff. And that's most of the reasons why a lot of spiritual people who are serious about this, like me, are somehow clashing with folks over controversial things that wouldn't be so controversial if folks was actually taking it serious. When a serious spiritualist talk to another serious spiritualist, even if we don't even have the same views in common, you can still tell that they're serious about their spe- they path, and that's something that we, that's a mutual respect that goes a long way. 
no matter how bad it looked or no matter how bad it seems like it cook it's people who work with demons people who work with with angels and just that that connection of knowing that the, the hey this person work this person works it works but when you work with folks who are just talking and that's all they're doing they're just talking their way into into, into somehow creating these friendships and these um bonds with a lot of spiritual folks like you start to tell you you start to really tell that there are spiritual scrubs out here and it's also romantic there's a lot of people who are trying to like sex their way into a spiritual person's life so that they can manifest a spiritual life when that shit has to come naturally it has to come from self you, you have to work on it it's not something that just kind of happened because the sex was good and you started rocking with somebody or you got friends that's in it or you got a cousin that's in it i don't care if my cousins know what i'm on what i'm up to unless they serious about their path they can't jump jump on anything and start talking about they spiritual because they cool with me because i've told them a couple things because i've showed them a couple things if they ain't leave my presence and continue to do what they supposed to do for their own individual spirit then they being scrubbish. You know, it's different, of course, for folks who are just new and starting it. But for folks who's really been studying or folks who's, who knows enough to, enough to jump in but choose not to but decide to play in people's inboxes or play in people's businesses or play in these groups and they only just want free experiences, half-ass experiences at that, that's scrubbish. That's scrubbish. Trying to be around individuals trying to act like you care because you know that spiritual individuals are successful or positive or cheery or whatever that it is that they have that you don't and you just want a piece of it so you decide to try to be around them or try to immerse yourself in their energy in some way or fashion but you're not actually still individualizing your own spiritual path is scrubbish and scrubbish and a lot of us spiritual people have them people in our inbox people in our family people in our friends exes even current lovers that are dead ass not serious or not as serious as they say they're serious as and they expect complete compassion and patience and to a degree we always provide but on this final note there's only so much folks can wait and there's only so much times that a person will see that you really not taking it serious and until you do you're a scrub, spiritual scrub People will meet you at first. They'll like your energy at first. But a real spiritualist will always sense your energy. And eventually, when they realize that you're not on the same frequency or at least trying, they'll dead you. Quick. Or at least they should. But don't let spiritual scrubs get too close. Or at least yeah, I understand that maybe that there's a relationship with certain individuals. But don't let spiritual scrubs get too close. And if, you, and if you do, you have to create boundaries. If you have a spiritual scrubs in your life, you have to learn how to create spiritual boundaries. You can still figure out a way to love without doing too much, but when you but it, it becomes a draining situation when you have a spiritual scrub. So I just wanted to hit that, uh, that subject because spiritual scrubs is really a thing, and they're all on the Internet. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. And when they notice that you got some real Jew, they want to be around you. So encourage folks to take it all away. Encourage folks to individualize themselves. Encourage folks to do better. Encourage folks to push themselves beyond their own comfort zone. Um, because you did. Um, and you keep it moving. You move forward in confidence. Um, my name is Grandmaster Gemini. Y'all know what I do. Um, quick side note. Um, Y'all know me. Um, I do all my services, and this was just, you know, real something I wanted to do. If Y'all y'all know I do readings. Y'all know I do healings. Y'all know I can do your chakras, your energetic fields, uh, weddings, all of that. Readings. Hit me up. Um, this is Grandmaster Gemini, and I just really had to hit y'all with some because it's been a minute. Stay tuned because there's more coming.